So Dave, I see you've got a, a, a PCB board here and you've got quite a few gauges on there. What is the customer asking here? Right, on this application I believe there's problems where the uh, diodes, capacitors and resistors are cracking. So they've given us strategic points across the PCB where right. we've applied, uh, on this instance, five stacked rosettes, um, right. which is part of our C2A uh, range, range of gauges. Yes, I see that, yes. yes. Um, so that's to get strain from a point? Absolutely, yep. 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 There's a, um, they'll extrapolate between the three grids to ascertain the strains involved right. and uh, what's... Uh, What's the happening the on the principal this? direction and the uh, the amount of strain that's there at that point, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. And what's the uh, the lead wire being used here out to the? This is um, this is as the, as the C2A is manufactured. This is um, the wires that came with it. Yep, that's come with it. They straight out the packet right. with um, with three meters of uh, ribbon cable yep. and the uh, as you can see the red uh, one three four already attached. And, yes. uh, uh So the installation here is purely a, a bonding process, and then we uh, anchor the leads again with a a two-part epoxy which we've used quite extensively uh, it, it works well for us and right. uh, and the adhesive you said was these are actually bonded with M-Bond 200 which is our cyanoacrylate uh, strain gauge adhesive right. which is a, a certified uh, super glue yes. uh, not to be confused with normal super glues it's actually a certified strain gauge adhesive right right okay yes and uh, do they need to be coated or is that, are they just they will be coated with M coat A which is again is a, 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 a laboratory type coating we use uh, which is a polyurethane uh, purely for la a laboratory purposes, uh, gives minimal uh, protection. Uh, we right. also use that to anchor the uh, the small wires you can see uh, leaving the strain gauge. Right, right. And then the lead wires will presumably be connected to one of our systems, either systems 6,000, 7,000 or 8,000? Yes, on this instance uh, we'll be applying um, RJ45s which are used on our system 7,000 and 8,000. Right, okay, so they use there, yep. And uh, how many of these have you got to do? Uh, there's five of these at the moment. Um, we've done quite a few over this year. Um, generally come in batches of five and five gauges per in, in locations uh, detailed by the customer oh, on, the, uh, right. on a number of drawings. Sure, sure. And then you've got the, uh, the various components on the board which you're close to, I see there, on that one, very close to an IC. Yeah. So there must be, no, those legs presumably are having problems are they? Indeed, During yes. During um, service, yes. Yeah, there are instances where uh, some of the locations we actually have to remove components to uh, to, to, to be allow to us access to the gauge location. Right, uh, right. But That's again, our, our technicians are proficient at this and uh, and uh, carry out a yeah, very skilled a job. Very good job, that looks very neat, yes. Yeah, very good.